Welcome back Blazers, I'm Marcelli Velasco and I'm Lionel Mendoza and this is Blazer Central. Let's get started with some announcements for the week. If you're interested in joining a California State University, an application workshop is going to be open on October 26th if you'd like to join us. And the PSATA is available for sophomores and junior on October 12th. Also, if you're interested in taking the AP exam, remember it is $97, but if you want more information on this, please text APGWHS to 81010. Also, attention juniors and seniors, if you signed up for the ASVAB test, that will be next Thursday, so make sure to show up. Also, in honor of it being Hispanic Heritage Month, Mecha will be hosting a Loteria game for all students, whoever wants to go. It will be in front of the library next Friday, so make sure to pop up. All right, and now please join me as I go interview our staff members of the week. All right, and now I'm here with? Mrs. Hall. All right, Mrs. Hall, I see you have a very nice fit, and what is your favorite part about this outfit? Probably my 50s hair. And if you had a control over the DeLorean, what time period would you go to? I would go back to the early 2000s. I liked the music back then. And now that we're talking about Back to the Future, who is your favorite character from the movie? Definitely Marty McFly because he plays the guitar. And if you had any superpower, which superpower would it be? I'd want to be invisible. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Hall. All right, and now I'm here with? Mrs. Thompson. And Mrs. Thompson, I see you have a very nice fit as well. What is your favorite part of it? Thank you. I'm going to say my hair. I went all in trying to get the little side swoop. I didn't wear a scarf because I forgot, but I did my own little homemade situation. And if you had control over the DeLorean, what time period would you go to? Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to say the first known civilizations, Sumer. We're going to go all the way back to the first records that everybody agrees upon is the beginning of civilization, some five, six thousand years ago. That's where I'd go, Sumer. And now that we're on the topic of um, Back to the Future, who is your favorite character from the movie? That's easy. The Doc, of course. The main character. And what superpower would you have if you were to choose? Superpower, if I was to choose, I would have the power to heal ailments, for sure. I would heal people. And thank you so much. Again, you have a very nice fit. You have a nice day. Thank you. You too. All right, and now I'm here with? Mrs. Munoz, the school nurse. And I see you have a very beautiful fit. Can you explain more about it? This is what we wore in the 80s. Uh, maybe not this extreme, but yes, this is what we wore. And what's your favorite part about the outfit? Because I see you chose a lot and you put a lot of work into it. My gloves. <laughs> Very pretty gloves. And if you had a superpower, what would you choose? Um, to read people's thoughts. And if you had control of the DeLorean, what year would you go to? Uh, probably back to somewhere in the 80s when I was in my 20s. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I love the fit. Thank, thank you for showing you. it off to us. <laughs> thank, you. thank you to our fabulous staff member for allowing me to interview you. And as you recall, we had our harvest dance the 24th. Let's go check that out. Americans, I'm here at the Harvest Dance, and I'm with Mr. Cummings. All right, Mr. Cummings, I just got a few questions. Um, so, how is the setup for the dance? Setup was great. The student leadership kids showed up at 8 a.m. today. We put together all of the tables. We put together all of the decorations. The DJ was here last night. I stayed till 11 p.m. so we can make sure everything is ready to go for y'all. And uh, I think it looks great in there. Hopefully, you guys agree. Uh, I do agree. It's pretty fun, and I can't lie. And um, is, has this dance met your expectations so far? Absolutely. It's gone well above and beyond. We sold over 300 tickets just at the door tonight, which is way more than we ever sell. Uh, and we, you know, it's jam-packed in there, and kids are having tons of fun. So couldn't ask for more. All right, that sounds great. Thank you for the interview. with Levi with Club Reports. Hello, I'm Levi Robinson and I'm here with some club news for this week. This week we have a craft club meeting today in P18 during lunch. We also have Dance Club which holds meetings on Tuesdays at lunch. Choir will be holding a car show at the end of this month on October 22nd. And I'm here with Mr. Escamilla. How are you doing today Mr. Escamilla? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, thanks for asking. So um, can you tell me a little bit about your club? 
Yeah, so we are FFA, and then we also have home growers, which is uh, our students that are in our horticulture classes where they can continue learning more about that. Um, and we actually have a plant cell coming up in a couple of weeks. Can you tell me more about the plant cell? Like, maybe, like, is it open to the public or what the dates could be to that? Yeah, so the dates for the plant cell are October 20th, starting at 3.30 to 5.30, and that's open to the public. Um, and then that's a Thursday, and then we're also open Friday from 3.30 to 5.30, again, open to the public, and it's here on our school campus. And then on Saturday, we're actually open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., and that's also open to the public. Um, how can students get to know more about your club? Uh, students uh, in our class are kind of already put into our club, but if students want to get more involved with an AG and an FFA, they would talk to their counselor, and when registration comes around, they can go ahead and list that as some of their top choices. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Levi. And now we're going to get a sneak peek of our business program on campus, Virtual Enterprise. I'm Vice President of Human Resources. I've been at BFA for around two years now. The reason that I joined is this program is getting me one step closer to one of my goals. Hello, my name is Holly Sanchez. My position VE is Video Graphic Specialist. I've been in business, the Business Academy for four years now. The reason I joined business was to open up my own business and learn more about opening up a business. My name is Viviana Montero and I'm CFO or Chief Financial Officer and the reason why I joined BFA is because I heard that you take a lot of the same classes with the same people over the courses of all four years so it really becomes like a family and everyone's just like bonded together. My name is Isenia Gomez Ramirez and I'm the Vice Administrative President of VE and the reason I joined was because I know that business is the basics of just about every career so I'm really excited to just learn about everything. The greatest thing that I learned in BFA is probably learning how to make a resume and how to write checks. Definitely, I think having a lot of interview um, experience with the mock interviews and preparing our resumes has really prepared us for the real world and um, really getting us out there and having connections. Hi, my name is Humana Reese and I'm Chief Creative Officer of VE. My name is Melina De Leon, I'm the CEO of Virtual Enterprise. How come you joined the Business Academy? I joined VE um, and BFA because we go on a lot of field trips and we get to explore the business industry and learn more about business. Yeah, it's a good point. You get It's like a family here. You get lots of exposure to business. Hey, remember that one time we went to UC Irvine? That was one of my favorite memories. I also remember going to the SoFi Stadium and actually being on the field. Yeah, me too. Those are the best. Thank you, VE, for giving us a preview of your amazing program. And as you know, last week was our homecoming week, where during lunch we had some amazing activities and also an amazing football game on Friday, where we announced our homecoming king and queen.
That was an amazing week, and congratulations to our king and queen, Ana Andrade and Dallas Mendoza. And now we're sending you off to our sports with Michael and Francisco. This is Sports Segment. I'm Francisco. I'm Michael Ramos. Football took a W, a fat one, not even some light. Oh, big it was big W. Fat. That fat. game was amazing. Bro. Against Manachi, mm -hmm. 45 to 21. Our boys' water polo team did take an L against Porterville. But our girls' water polo team, they won. They beat Porterville 12 to 2. But volleyball took a W against LD. Yup. I'm gonna lie, that's, that's when it matters, you know what I mean? Always town rivals, gotta win. And for our next week's Blazers Sports, our boys' water polo team, on Tuesday, October 11th, our JV and varsity goes against LD at home at 4 to 5. Thursday, October 13th, they also go against Menachi at home, 6 to 7. Tonight, our varsity and JV team faces off against Mount Whitney here at home. JV starts at 5, varsity starts at 7.30. And on Thursday, October 13th, our freshman team goes against Porterville here at home at 5 p.m. Next Friday, our JV and varsity goes against Porterville. It is our senior night at home, and JV starts at 5, varsity starts at 7.30. Our JV and varsity tennis teams have a match on Tuesday and Thursday, um, both away games at 4 p.m. against Redwood and LD. Our golf team on Thursday, October 6th, goes against Redwood at Valley Oaks Golf Course at 2 p.m. And on Tuesday, October 11th, they go against Porterville at River Island at 11 a.m. Francisco. And now we're sending it off to our man on campus and our new lady on campus, Jada C. Hey yo, what's good? It's the man on campus, Sean Boyer. Today I'm here with Marco. All right, Marco. I just got a couple quick, like one quick question for you, actually. What's your favorite like a horror movie? I'll say the Leprechaun. Oh, the Leprechaun. I kind of see the resemblance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right, right. Hey. Hey, that's a good movie though, I respect it, bro, I respect it. This is your lady on campus, Jada, and I'm here with... Nevaeh. Okay, Nevaeh, I got a question for you today. What is your favorite Halloween movie? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Mmm, I like it, I like it. Okay, thank you, Nevaeh. All right, I'm here with Lisa. All right, bro. So, um, what's your favorite horror movie? Uh, I like Child's Play. You know, it reminds me of my friend Marco. Oh, yeah. Marco Diaz? Marco Diaz. Oh my god, bro, that sounds hilarious. Hey. Okay, all right. I'm here with... Alright, Sally Velasco. 
Hi, Araceli. Okay, I have a question for you today. Okay. Um, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, I think I'd have to say all the Annabelle movies. I think they're pretty good. Mm, I like them too. I like them too. Okay, thank you, Araceli. Hey, yo, I'm here with... Um, Moses. All right, Moses, I got one, one simple quick question for you. Yeah. What's your favorite horror movie? Uh, the Conjuring. Oh, is that the one with the lady who, like... It like does all the weird twisty things. Yeah, yeah, she twists, she twists on it, you know. Yeah, I, I know, I know what you're saying. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm here with Jacob Villalobos. All right, Jacob, I got a quick question for you. What's your favorite like scary movie? I'm gonna have to go with Halloween. Michael Myers? That yeah. one? Mmm, I remember. Mm, that's about are you trying to watch it together or what? I mean, that's up to you. You know, you let me know. I'll hit you up, bro. I'll hit you up. Like, Alright, this is the man on campus. Lady on campus. And we're signing out. Peace. Thank you, Sean and Jada. Before we sign off, we want to remind you of the dress up days next week. Monday will be pajama day. Tuesday, you have to wear white. Wednesday, wear black. On Thursday, you wear brown. And Friday, it is gold out. And most importantly, please come out tonight to support our football team against Mount Winnie and our pink out game. That's all for now, Blazers.